This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's up? How you doing? Good, good. Good, you? Good, too. Mm -hmm. You sure you're good? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Face, I don't know. Wait, as it's long so as it has dramatic. Tea, we'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. But well, you had like a dark shade on right now, and I just thought that you've switched. How do you do these things? They can't pull anything mm. on you anytime. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> moving on to uh, the bigger story for today. Netflix and When They See Us creator Eva DuVernay are being accused of defamation over interrogation method. They are being sued over the technique depicted in the film um, because its creator claimed the movie got um, his method all wrong by saying this method was used to squeeze statements of um, out of the Central Park Five suspects. In particular, a scene from episode four was pointed out where a detective and someone from the DA's office are discussing the interrogations of the suspects. Claiming defamation, the plaintiffs want unspecified widespread damages and profits from DuVernay and Netflix. They also want when they see us taking off Netflix globally until the offending line is omitted or changed. In the lawsuit, Reed says the technique he created specifically does not teach withholding parental supervision, denying interview subjects any of their rights, or making threats of physical harm. He claims it specifically calls for extra caution when interviewing minors. He also says he demanded a retraction two months um, after the series was released. I think that was in July, but mm. Netflix refused. Hmm. So when it comes to law issues, yeah, I know I like to just move to Ife in peace. Mm. Well, if um, the detective is saying that um, they used the method, um, I can't remember the name of the method. Read. read. Yeah, the read, yeah. So if they use that, and uh, if they're saying they did use that and they didn't, that's defamation because um, you made reference to it as mm, that basically as that was, saying yeah, that was like the method they used to people yeah. to um, actually confess to a crime that claiming that due to their investigation they can tell you did the crime and then. A lot of people, because they just want to take plea deals and then they don't even know what they have against them and they are intimidated, they jump on this thing. Mm -hmm. So that read method is actually a method that um, a lot of people are not saying. They, um, some people refer to it as archaic, like they don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying they did that way back then and they did it and you did, depicted it in your movie, that's... Um, Defamation, so I think they have every right to sue, unless it can be proven otherwise, or unless these boys can um, actually give evidence that they were actually coerced. And, but if they were not, then they have every right to be sued. Hmm. But taking it off Netflix globally, <laughs> I don't understand how that's going to work. No, they, they just want to take it off. No, just, they, just they have to remove that line yeah, or something. So they have to take yeah. it down to put it back up, basically. Okay. Mm. Um, for me, the, I, I read about the read. Um, method mm -hmm. and what it basically does is you give people you you tell them that you have evidence against them mm -hmm. you have testimonies mm -hmm. against them and then you kind of like create a picture mm -hmm. of the um crime scene to them you so in the transfer century english they basically call it bluffing mm -hmm. so you bluff mm -hmm. and then yeah mm -hmm. you bluff and then they they use this for um people that are very vulnerable mm -hmm. you get and like those boys like minors were, minors most of the time i think the first time the um read uh, method was used was a man was a murder case of a man that killed his wife mm -hmm. and at the end of the day after the man has been sentenced to jail it will it was proven that the man was innocent mm -hmm. and most of the time that this read um method have been used the victims always come out um innocent mm -hmm. at the end of the day mm -hmm. and in the movie according to the story you get mm -hmm. those boys were forced to make that statement mm. so i i don't think these people are, they, i don't think they are the reason why they are suing them is not because um of the boys making the statements or whatever mm -hmm. they are suing them because of um the the statement that they didn't give them food they didn't give them water and all of that you get mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, um, I think they're being sued because they... It's, it's like when I tell you that this cup is blue and then you run along mm. with it and over portray it to be more than blue. Mm. So you took away their parental um, rights, you took away their human rights. They're saying that 
their method does not take those things away from you you mm. get food if you're supposed to be with an older person you're but going now to the, that. the problem is mm -hmm. their method does not take that away but the policeman that used the method mm -hmm. probably took that away because th those children didn't have access to their parents mm -hmm. but reed is not coming to say the policeman did not what he's saying is the fact that you painted that picture and then come to i think that was in episode four and mm -hmm. have a scene say they use the read method then it means you are portraying the read method in a way that it is not because if you are bringing in all these elements that is not part of the read method and then you say it's the read method then it is not okay i understand where you're coming from but i feel like they're just telling a story maybe the way it is mm -hmm. you get and if a method is being used they are probably not i, I don't think they are saying that that read method mm -hmm. says that you take away um they are right from them. That was what happened in the movie. No, they used the read method, but probably the policemen involved took their right away from them, not the read method. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because well, I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, that's. But I'm not. What I'm saying now is that they are not. They you are not the painting read the read method bad. The right away from them in the first place. You know, the read method is um, coercing them. So, um, but you know the people, the owner of the method, they don't see it as coercing them. Do you get? They don't see it that way. They just see it as they they try to make them say the truth. They are, mm. There's a method that brings the truth out of people. They don't see it okay, as so forcing maybe, them. Let me to explain it for the last time before we move on, because last <laughs> last the courts will have to decide mm. what they want to decide. But if I create a method and say you move from this point to this point and then you get to this point, mm. and then in carrying out your my method in your own way you move from here you go here you go here you go here you go here and then before you come here you're out of the space of my method especially mm -hmm. when the things you do when you diverted are actually very illegal mm -hmm. so if they had did the whole thing they did and not come out to say but that was read method i get where these people are coming from but at the end of the day they have to still go back and forth and then the judge and the lawyers will be able to say Okay, we're not actually asked to defame you guys, but we're just trying to tell the story. The and maybe is. if there was a prosecutor or one of those police guys that would come out to say, I was trained. Because from what they're saying now, they're saying that they now have to create another sex, um, another segment in their trainings. Because they, they've trained over 200,000 mm -hmm. people. They have to create another segment that actually dissects when they see us to make them know that this is not how it is. So they're saying they're spending money to debunk this picture you've painted of their method do you understand so it's not just a case of it is said it's a case of people are reacting to it so there's a lot of um, technicalities in this and i would really love to see how this plays out mm. i do do you want to add anything no nah, watch this space all right um, moving on real quick t bills reacts after oap daughter was threatened for accepting um to interview tacha um i think they're saying he's um, going to, he's going to turn down the interview but it's tomorrow right so we'll see yeah. how that plays out mm -hmm. um he wrote and i quote i'm going to read what he wrote because i think he made sense he said um big brother niger was a game a beautiful experience with life lessons for tacha every criticism during the show was according to personal views and everyone owns the right to their opinion it doesn't necessarily have to be the same as yours or yours as theirs now the game is over it's time for reality. Tacha is embarking on a fresh start with a completely different journey. There isn't going to be a journey without the largest fan base, that's um, hashtag Titans. I know your love runs deep for her brand, but we have to extend this love to every human. It's important that the Titans are also a part of this group's um, journey. Let's spread love always. Um, he tagged Dotun and apologized to him and um, the management. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think um, he's been a great manager because um, he's handling it, um, the issue the proper way. And then at the same time, I'm beginning to wonder because I think, was it you or Ewa that said that? Could this all be probably? Yes, on I did. Mm -hmm. it. So I'm beginning to think um, with all this back and forth right now, it's just a way of promoting Tacha and making her, and painting her in a positive light, saying that, okay, look because of the game, because of everything that went down, people are getting threatened, but I'm not actually a terrible person. Let's spread love, let's do this, let's do that. You get what I mean? So I think T. Bills is being a great manager, but- And also same, people are looking forward to that interview now. Yeah, but at the same time, exactly. So at the same time, I feel like, I don't know, a part of me, yesterday I wasn't feeling this way. Mm. A part of me just makes me feel like, uh, all of this, there's actually no death threat. You were the one saying that um, you need to show us a message and all, and all that. 
like there's actually no death threat this is something they just put together so that um they can hype the show because right now do you know how many people will tune in mm. if she finally makes it to that interview tomorrow mm. if they don't if they do not cancel personally i would listen to that interview because I want if they want to, to, to show us how toxic <laughs> it is then maybe those threatening them should Stop by at uh, the entrance. <laughs> too. Should I give you guys the address oh, so we can it. see like a real? They don't need to call it. Like, I'm sure it's like they need to, to stop the interview, interview like day. before she gets there. They know the time for this show. When uh -huh. is the Oasis, right? So they need to be at that junction and stop it. And then know people are serious. But right now it's just an interview. Even if I feel like even if there's an like it got a death threat, it's just a joke from somebody. What did they even call death threat? Because they just come on. Me, you see a message of death threat, like. Okay. In the Uganda interview to touch her will kill you. We know your house, we know your family. Mm, you don't like her, so why do you want to grant the interview? I mean, it's probably just <laughs> bluffing in about this mm. way. <laughs> yeah, the rig method, you know. <laughs> don't let them see you because I'm not there. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. We won't return. 30 BG down, get in the news. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Davido's PA um, got injured and lost his 30 BG um, chain during the SAS harassment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> the funny part of this story uh, is not even the harassment or the losing the chain. It's the picture that a popular blog platform <laughs> <laughs> So, when I saw the post, I was wondering, why would we be wearing a 30 BG chain and staying in this type of place? For and then no, it's his mom. mom. You know, and with time. He's his mom, mom and, and all that, yeah. We were just showing some love. But mm. that cooler is mighty, dude. Like, <laughs> and then, uh, but his mom probably know. bought fruit from home now. It looks and like a shop. Had to be, I, I guess that was breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Because I don't know why that cooler is. <laughs> what if that's the only cooler that is big enough to contain that food? I mean, we don't mm. have many people that want to eat the food. Abby. Well, okay. But uh, back to the chain. Back to the chain. I think, um, I don't know, we've been saying this and we we'll keep saying it. Our uh, law enforcement agency, they need to calm down. Because I read the story and what happened was that it went to. Who the first of all have sense to calm down before he <laughs> got on with small doctor mm -hmm. and then boys came out to, you know, see their celebrities and greet them. The next thing, SAS came and started packing boys and even after, after um, small doctor, doctor left, left, SAS came Isn't and that shitty? You know, <laughs> very shady actually. But after small doctor left, Sas came and started picking boys and picked him along. He was released later. He mm -hmm. said that he was released later. But what about the other boys that are not Aluma, that people don't know? Mm -hmm. And they probably didn't do anything wrong. They just went to meet their um, celebrity. And now they're probably behind bars for what? Mm -hmm. So him losing his 30 billion, he said he's going to get his chain back. I so mean, he'll get it back, because he's going to sell it. Mm. Even if he sell he it, he knows the faces of um, the South officials mm -hmm. that took his pendant, so he's going to get it back They'll whichever way. So let's see how this goes. But I just hope he gets it back. And those South operators, um, the moment he gets it back, I think they should be fired. Yeah. Yes, because um, this is getting too much. Like, you just arrest innocent people for nothing. Like, I, I went home to see my mom. And then I'm getting harassed by SARS. Like, is it my fault that I'm popular? Do you understand? <laughs> then people came out from the hood to see me. And then all of a sudden, I'm ending up in custody. That don't make no sense. That's I'm cool. getting injured. My pendants are missing. And those pendants are probably worth millions. millions. Do you understand? Mm. So it's crazy. So I think we need to put a hand to this um, police brutality and um, SARS brutality in the whole. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Tiwa Savage dishes out some relationship advice to ladies. She wrote, and I quote, if we remove sex from relationship, you discover that most of we ladies have nothing to offer in relationships. Set your conscience. What else do you offer aside from, you know? Remove money from your relationship and you discover that over 90% of ladies won't see a reason to be in a relationship. We want our men to take care of us, but we add no value to their life other than sex and troubles. Let's change our mindset. Let's learn to be valuable in a relationship. Let's pray for them while they are down. Motivate them to hustle harder. Give them listening ears. End of quotes. Ewa. Nope. <laughs> no. okay, what I like about her message is the fact that she was saying we, we, we. So all of us are on the table together, mm, well herself, both. right? Mm -hmm. And if uh, I think you should come, come go, go. Well, on. I think mm -hmm. I totally agree with um Tiwa Savage, especially with this um modern day girls. Maybe um our mothers, 
are different, you know, so to give you the story of how they started with our fathers and when they did not have um, anything. But uh, right now, how many women? Every woman wants ready-made. Mm. Do you understand? Every woman wants a man that is already established and then some women actually get into relationships because of the financial stability they want from that relationship and it's not like you're bringing anything to the table so guys end up with liabilities instead of people that are supposed to be their helper because even the bible says your woman is supposed to be your helper so if i'm the only one helping 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 so where do you come in so the only thing you're bringing to the table is helping me with um uh, my sexual orgies and my sexual desires and then you think that's good enough? No, that's not good enough. I think um, Tiwa Savage couldn't have said it better. You need to pray for your man, you need to motivate him, you need to be there for him when he's down and that is what makes a good woman and not just the um, your sexual prowess in bed. Okay, so you need to, you mentioned three things because I was going to ask you as a man like what, what should <laughs> Be brought to the table, mm. right? And what you, you said inspire him, right? I kind Apart of think. from inspiration, if you, um, I also said the woman needs to be the helper. You don't have to be a liability where you're in a relationship with mm. me. Do you understand? Mm. Like, I'm not saying bring money to the table, but let's share ideas. Do you understand? Some of these girls are not even smart enough to even learn about your business to start with. They just, they will just tell you, oh, my boyfriend is an investor. Do you understand? Investor, what does he invest in? What is his business about? You don't even know the rudiments of that business to start with. You're not even smart enough to read about it. And then maybe when he's having some troubles at work and everything, you can chip in that, okay, have you tried this method? Let's try this, let's try that, let's try. It's not your field, but because you know that is what your boyfriend is doing, you get interested, you get smart enough to be able to input something because you never know what your um, suggestion could, could bring, bring. Could. do you understand? But a lot of these girls are just all about, oh, yeah, they, oh, sorry, ah, but baby, you know that 100,000 there, I asked you for my bad. <laughs> yeah, um, do you understand? I, I think I'm going to agree with you to an extent, and agree, I, I agree with everything Tiwa has said, yeah, it happens like that, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm just going to say, the man in the picture, what are you selling? Because they say this thing that you attract what you, I, I don't know how they put it, you get like, some men come and what they just want that woman to see is their money. Mm. Do you mm. understand? The reason why they want that woman to be with them is because of their money. Really? Uh, yeah. How? Some men like that, that once they, just, once they see a woman and they want to get that woman, they probably themselves don't even care about the value she's going to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. They just want that woman there and they want to just give her money. And the first thing they are attracting, the, I don't know if you know, the first I think I understand the, what you're trying mm. to say. And Okay, let me say, I'll probably speak from a personal place. So, um, if as a guy, I think this type of conversation has to do with a guy who is ready to be serious and in a serious relationship mm. with a lady, right? That's one. And secondly, so you meet this lady and then you like her and you guys are getting to know each other. It is very important for you to be able to open up. Because most times, even me as a lady, sometimes I'm not interested in talking about what I do or how often I get money or how mm. this and that. And I think there are men that are like that too. But if you two have realized that this thing we are in it together and want to build something together, then the conversation begins and becomes more deeper. Because you don't just uh, meet Mr. A today and meet Mr. B tomorrow and, and you're planning you are, your life if it was an them. investor, you're reading investments. Mm -hmm. Then the other one is a financial analyst, you're reading financial. Yeah, but no, no, the other one is a farmer, you're reading farming. No, no, let's like, just waste that. If you I keep, know, if you no, keep adding, no, and then why should you keep I have, jumping? I have my own job. And then why, so. do you, why do you need to keep jumping from no, one man? If it's not working, yeah. You can date you as can many date people till you find the right one. And increase your body count. You don't have to sleep with all of them, if you Okay. Mm -hmm. In this time and age. <laughs> yes, this time and age. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So in this time and age, that is what your men, mind you is. You get so men like what she's trying to say. You get no, what you what are I'm looking saying. for. I'm just saying that you guys are saying it like we do not know the reality of this thing. It's good to be politically correct, mm -hmm. but we know the reality of this the thing. Reality the reality of this thing is, is that you people know what you want on paper, but when it comes to practical, you don't even know what you want. You want A, you want B, you will tell me how you know nice what? it is. I, I'm, not going, I'm not going to get into this want, argument, so want, I'm not going to get into this argument because <laughs> I have two no, women. I feel like if you no, want no, no, a woman... I'm not even going to win. If you want like, a woman that would um, add to your life, add value to your there life, are so many there are so many of them 
them out there. But no, you don't. If you want that woman, you go for that woman. But you men will not go for that woman. Go for, go for the one. Woman, they to, she's too smart. <laughs> she's too smart. Ah, she's stressing you, you're threatening she's... by her uh, intelligence. Do you understand? Really? Yes. This okay, we need to touch man. this last story because it's a story that is touching my soul, right? <laughs> I wish I could dwell on that one. But um, AQ slams Vector, says he's an ingrate. And um, I think this is after releasing his own diss track called Distraction 2. Yeah. And we should expect three. Uh, that's if, if um, Vector responds, I think. Yeah, but mm -hmm. um, that's a distraction too. It was a, it was a distraction, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, was a, it was strong. But for me, I think the line that got me was the part that affected my soul, which was the part that he said, um, in a few years, like, Buari, you'll be done. You know, it brought back my hope on knowing that <laughs> In the, part, the part that got me was the part where he said uh, Vector claims to have been the one to put him on, right? Mm -hmm. And he's, he called out his old family. He said, the sister is a Fuji artist. Your brother is a DJ. He doesn't play your songs. Um, what's it called? Your brother is your manager. You didn't put him on. So how are you going to say you put me on when you have bunch of talent in your own family that you haven't even put on mm. and then you're not saying you go put those people on first the same thing they try to do with jesse jack I mean. do you understand mm -hmm. like go put those people on first before you come out and say you put somebody on so what are you doing with your own family members three people in your family are into the entertainment business what have you and done what them? have you done for them mm. and, and then i think this guy has sense. i think he has a lot of dirt on, on vector I like the so he's, he's telling him that look don't let me even start saying certain things because he said he didn't even tell, talk about what happened with his group Bada Boys mm -hmm. because I can remember when Vector had that group Bada Boys. Um, he said he didn't talk about um, a certain female rapper and all of that. So I think he had a lot of dirt in him mm -hmm. and if Vector should just reply, AQ is ready to spill tea and then you know we'll always be here. Did you, did you hear the tea. line where he says he stays um, behind Lafayette G and he's five minutes away if you don't know his dolphin <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's so bad. Is that you should come in? But I know, I, I I feel like this is getting way too personal now. But it became this personal because of Vector. Yeah, he yeah. He was the one who went low blue, and now the whole debt is being dug up and all that. And I feel and like... And then the Chocolate City boys are not even smiling. I mean, like, if they all come out together. against you, come on. If they all drop diss tracks for you, if Loose Cannon should do the same, if Black Bones should, should do, do the same, same. if, um, what's it called? Who else is there that is uh, I think okay. it's just three of them, AQ, yeah, Loose Cannon, AQ, and, Black Loose Cannon and Black Bones. Yeah. If the three of them should drop three um, diss tracks, I think Vector will be done. Okay, so that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Uluwa Uwitu and Ife Uluwa Oshunkeye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a great day.